You said you wanted to ask me more about my dealings with the pawnbroker. Ah. Oh. So? Oh. No hurry. Did I tell you, my living quarters are just through there. They're being decorated. I'm only in that apartment for the time being. Move well, back here when it's all... Oh, Speak on span. Quite a perk. Government accommodation. I suppose so. I even get to choose my own wallpaper. Oh, yes. <laughs> Quite a perk. The only thing is, it's living above the shop, well, so to speak. I've heard there are certain techniques you investigators go in for. Ages spent on chit-chat until the person being interviewed almost forgets what he's doing there. Then, as the suspect sits back in his chair, spreads his legs, the investigator asks him, why did you kill her? Or him? All of a sudden, the suspect is on the floor. Metaphorically. Mm. Not just metaphorically. <laughs> oh, I'm sure. So, is that why you think I've been banging on to you about my choice of wallpaper? <laughs> Look, question me or let me go. In fact, I won't even ask your permission to get out of here. I'll just do it now. Calm down. What are you talking about? Why should I be questioning you anyway? I'm sorry about laughing like that. It's actually some kind of affliction. Social awkwardness, or nerves, or some such. My not being married is another symptom of it. Men like us. We're not very good at breaking the ice, are we? <laughs> oh, they say, do sit down, and you'll just set my nerves off again, and I'll be hopeless. Oh. <sighs> Sorry about this. Piles. Not helped by the fact I'm sitting down all day. <laughs> Actually, I'm thinking of taking up gymnastics. You know, the skipping rope. And all that. In the meantime, you'll just have to forgive me for all this walking up and down. <laughs> Sorry, am I doing it again? <laughs> You're waiting for the hammer blow now, are you? <laughs> I suppose the work of an investigator is almost military. Does one go for an all-out attack and take the enemy in one go? Or just dig trenches and lay siege to them day by day, wearing them out? bit by bit. Some gentleman I might have my eye on. I just leave him alone. I make sure he knows I know everything. The whole sordid story. I make sure he knows I'm watching him all the time. Oh, a real reign of terror. What if... His nerve is as strong as yours. It's my job to get on his nerves. And do you always succeed? Yes, because I always have the advantage. Which is? I haven't done anything. He can always lie about what he's done. Or he can give me a clue. They usually do. <laughs> How? I didn't ask. I'll tell you all the same. His mouth starts to run away with him. Start saying things he shouldn't about events he's not supposed to be involved in. Can't help but draw attention to himself. Despite himself, it's in his nature. The nature of a murderer. Now, I do hope you're not going to faint again. You're looking terribly queasy. I'm fine. I'll open a window for you, shall I? I'm fine. <laughs> but you fainted before. We didn't know who you were. We all know who you are now. Stop laughing at me! If you suspect me, then arrest me! 
If I killed Lizavetta and the pawnbroker, then prosecute me. If you feel you have the right to do it, then just do it, because I'm sick of this. Dear me, Roger Romanich, this won't do. Now, this won't do at all. Let me get you some water. I'm sick of it! But you drive yourself crazy if you go on like that. That's a square one with your illness. Yeah, drink this. I'm fine. Heavens. Hanging a murder on yourself. You're going off into a spin. All over the place. What do you mean? Going back to her apartment and asking about the blood. <laughs> what an exploit. But how do you know about that? Doesn't matter. What it proves is you're suffering from delirium. I wasn't delirious when I did that. Why well, say that? It would mitigate what you did. I don't want it mitigated. Guilty men always want mitigation. That proves you're not one of them. Don't you think? You're lying. I wish you well. No, sincerely. Otherwise, I really would be asking you the kind of questions that make you fall off your chair. I'd have taken a statement from you. I'd have had your room searched. But I haven't behaved like that, have I? Which must mean I don't suspect you. Well, don't you think? You're lying. Obviously, you can't see what I'm saying at the moment. Because you're not yourself. You're lying. You see? Am I a suspect or not? Why are you forcing yourself on me like this? Oh, I can't stand this. Don't you want to see my little surprise? He's hiding in here. I even locked him in so he couldn't run away. You think you can make me crazy? Make me burst with it? Burst? Even a man like you needs a pin. What's going on? What's going on? 